that surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, Edith Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be making a large wall decor. And I'm going to be starting off with foam boards. I'll be gluing and taping four boards together. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I'm going to turn it over and use tape on the other side. For my design, I'm going to be drawing lines that are 4 inches apart. And this is going to guide me on how to attach the pieces that I'll be using for the wall decor. I'm going to be using these cute gift and sweet boxes from Party City. And I got one of these types and it comes with 100 pieces. I'm going to be cutting out the parts that I don't need and leaving the squared parts for the design. I'll be making use of the perfectly squared shapes for the pattern that I'll be making. Now that I have the box shapes like this, I'm going to now cut it into two. Because of the size of the foam board, I cannot attach these pieces on the floor. So I made it stand and then I'm going to be attaching it this way. These pieces are just for the outer sides. Now I have something else that I want to use for the middle. And these are the boxes. They are kind of the same thing, but they're much larger. And they also have a beautiful pattern on them. Because these ones are much larger, they come in 50 pieces. I got two of these boxes from Party City. I'll be cutting out the top and bottom parts that I don't need and leaving just a perfectly squared shape box. Now that I have these pieces, I'm going to be cutting them now into two.
I'm going to show you guys a close up of how these pieces are going to be glued on the large board. Now the pieces below are going to be in between the upper pieces. And I'm going to go on and on using the lines that I had drawn earlier as my guide. Remember the plain boxes that I used at the top? I used them again at the bottom. This design is quite strong when they're together. Now this is what it looks like when I mounted it on the wall. You can use hooks or command strips to hang this on the wall. This is the view from the left where the pattern is. You will notice a slight difference when you're looking at it from the right. This is because the right has no pattern on it, so it has an interesting way it looks from that direction. And overall, the 3D effect is awesome. The little table that you see there is a DIY that I made and I gave out, but I made another one for myself because I love the design. The link for that is going to be down in the description box below. Now the pattern that I made has some sort of border at the top and at the bottom. So I'm going to make something for the sides. I brought it down and added foam boards by the side and added the pattern to give it a complete look. You can also add lights in this design as well. Now you can make this as large as you want, but I just feel the size is okay for me. And I use just simple items that I got from Party City to make this beautiful large wall decor. I really hope you all enjoyed this video and learned one or two things from it. Now don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.